don't even know where this is going. So a person says, where am I going to go? What is the solution? We say it's easy. See how they did it? And follow their way. Follow them because they were safe. They were safe. Following people today may not necessarily be safe. And I will quote to you something from Prophet Mas'ud, radiallahu anhu arda, which emphasizes this particular uh, statement. I'm going to read it in by wording because I don't want to take a chance of making a mistake. So be patient with me. He said, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, you know that the virtuous scholar among the Sahaba, radiallahu anhu arda, he said, people will not cause to be in good as long as knowledge emanating from the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and their elders reach them. If however knowledge comes to them by the way of their young and their desires diversify, they will be ruined. He said, whoever amongst you seeks to adopt a path, whoever amongst you seeks to adopt a path, should take to the way of the dead, those who have died. Speaking about the companions in the early generations. Since the living are not safe and secure from being put to trial. You know, those who are alive, he may be upon the deen one day, and he may, he may turn away the next day. Those who died in the state of goodness, khalas, they're stamped already. So this is more safe. He said, they, the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, possess the most pious hearts of this ummah. The most pious hearts of this ummah were the most profound in knowledge and the least constraint of this ummah. A people whom Allah chose for the companionship of His Prophet وسلم, and the establishment of His religion. So know their rights and adhere to their guidance, for they indeed were upon the straight way. This particular statement is from his understanding of the same narration that he narrated about the straight path. Remember, he's the one who narrated the hadith of the one path. And he is telling you how he understood it. He said, for they indeed, they were upon the straight way. The companions of the Prophet Muhammad he said, we emulate and do not set precedents. We follow and do not innovate. And we will not deviate as long as we hold on to the narrations. He also said, follow and do not innovate. For indeed you have been sufficed. You've been given plenty. You have from the sunnah plenty that does not require that you innovate anything or practice any bid'ah. You have plenty from the sunnah. Al-Awza'i said, Knowledge is that which emanates from the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As for anything else besides this, it is not knowledge. Knowledge is only what they have. Everything else is not knowledge. And unless your knowledge today is in accordance with their knowledge, then you don't have any knowledge. That's what it is. That's what they said. He said, again, patiently restrict yourself upon the sunnah. Patiently restrict yourself upon the sunnah. Stop where the people, meaning the companions, stop. Whatever they stop, stop. They didn't speak about the names and attributes of Allah. They did not compare Allah to His creation, nor did they deny the attributes of, attributes of Allah. But now this is very common. That a Muslim will deny the names and attributes of Allah because they believe that it is resembling the creation of Allah. They didn't discuss these things, don't discuss these things. Now it is required for you to have knowledge. Otherwise, back then, these were not among the things that they discussed. They had adab with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, say what they say and refrain from that which they refrain. Traverse upon the path of your salaf salih your righteous predecessors. For indeed, what was sufficient for them is sufficient for you. What was sufficient for them is sufficient for you. Al-Hasan al-Basri said, rahimahullah, he was in a gathering when he mentioned the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He then remarked, they possess the most pious hearts of this ummah, with the most profound in knowledge and the least constraint, a people whom Allah chose for the companionship of His Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So emulate their character and way. By the Lord of the Kaaba, they are upon the straight path. This is very similar to the statement of Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu and that shows you how the tabi'een were following even the very statements of the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imam Abu Hanifa, rahmatullahi alayhi, he said, he was questioned, what is your comment on the speech innovated by the people regarding Al-A'rab and Al-Assam? Speaking about the names and attributes of Allah. He replied, statements of the philosophers. Statements of the philosophers. He said, take to the narrations and the way of As-Salaf, the righteous predecessors, and beware of every newly invented matter, for it is indeed an innovation. This is in, uh, it said, uh, it, 
quoted by a Suyuti. Uh, you know, there are many statements actually uh, that were mentioned by the righteous predecessors dealing with this particular uh, concept, which I will not uh, have the time actually because we started late to deal with all of them. Uh, but really, let me uh, conclude this particular lecture with this ayah. This ayah is in reference to this hadith. This ayah and these, uh, actually, the ayah and the hadith, they go hand in hand. And it is how the righteous predecessors understood the hadith that I quoted to you earlier in the light of this ayah. It is the famous ayah in Surah An-Nisa. وَمَنْ يُشَاكِكَ الرَّسُولِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ الْهُدَى وَيَتَّبِعَ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ نُوَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّى وَمُصْلِهِ جَهَنَّمَ وَسَاءَتْ مَصِيرًا Listen to this ayah in the Quran. Maybe you never read it before. Or maybe you read it in Arabic, never read what it meant in the language that you understand. Or maybe you read it in a language you understand, but you never bother to ponder or reflect upon what is said in this particular ayah. Whichever one of these three you are, let me give you the, uh, get, take the honor to explain it to you tonight. The ayah says clearly, whoever opposes or contradicts the messenger, after the truth has been conveyed to him, now notice the addition, and follows a path other than that of the believers. Not only that, those who contradict the messenger, but also follows the path other than that of the believers, we will allow him to traverse upon the path that he chose, and we will make him enter Jahannam and what an evil abode. Did you hear that? Whoever contradicts the messenger after the truth has been conveyed, the ayah comes to you, the hadith comes to you. If you oppose him, sallallahu alayhi wa and not only that, if you follow a path other than that of the believers, who were the believers at that time? When Allah revealed this ayah, who were the believers? The Sahaba. If you follow other than their path, if you follow other than their path, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that this is the path leading to Jahannam. Ibn Taymiyyah rahmahullah said in commenting on this particular ayah, he said, there's something very interesting. Whoever follow, whoever contradicts the Prophet sallallahu has automatically contradicted the way of the companions. And whoever contradicts the way of the companions has automatically contradicted the way of the messenger. And if anyone believes that by following them he is mistaken, then in the same token he is mistaken if he, he is like the one who believes he is mistaken by following the Prophet Muhammad If anyone believes he is wrong by imitating the companions, then in the same sense he is similar to the one who believes he is wrong because he is imitating the Prophet If you believe that, you cannot be a Muslim. You see? Because of this ayah, and the scholars say, if we know, ya akhwan, there's nothing in the Quran that is mere chance, or there's nothing in the Quran that was not intended to be there. There's not even a single letter that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not, there was wisdom behind it being there. So that addition, and follows a path other than that of the believers, is an indication given to us by Allah. That not only you have to stay with the sunnah of the Prophet but you must do it according to the way of his companions and those who followed them in their goodness. So this is really what I, what we need today, today in, in the Muslim Ummah. We are suffering. The Muslim Ummah is suffering. Our company is barely doing business. Had it not been for the mercy of Allah and the promise that the business will remain until the Day of Judgment, wallah, we would have been out of business. But it is the mercy of Allah that the company is still there. And there are those groups available that are calling to themselves, trying to take us away from the integrity and the quality that was given by them. But there must be another group of people who will call to that first one. So it is my obligation and yours, my brothers in Islam. You are living in a country where you are able to do that. You may not be able to do 